Hello there, human. What brings a cute little prey like yourself to walk this deep into my lair? Is it that you are maybe wanting to end your life? It would be a shame. You look so young. But no, I don't see that emptiness in your eyes. Even more, you look like you were smiling just a minute ago. So I don't think you came here with a death wish. Is it maybe that your greed brought you here? That's right. If something drives humans to the most insane behaviors, it's their greed. Did you come here looking for gold? Perhaps someone told you a legend about a big treasure hidden in the deepest lair of the most devious and darkest ruins no one had ever heard about. Oh, so it isn't either. Then, you must be an adventurer. Though I must admit, you certainly don't look like one. But you do have a dagger, do you? <laughs> Did you really think you could come here, walk into my territory, and slay me using a mere dagger? <laughs> I just can't believe this. I knew humans could be stupid, but this, this is just downright ridiculous. Now hear me, and hear me clear. You, brain-dead idiot, I'm going to let you grab that tiny little puny thing you call a weapon and try to stab me as hard as you can, and as fast as you can. Go ahead, grab your dagger. Grab it right now. Hmm, so you brought it with you because you heard there were some goblins. Well, yes. There used to be. Well then, why did you come here? To slay some goblins? It doesn't make sense coming alone for that. And dressing no kind of armor. I mean, they are not strong, but for a human. Oh, so you did come here looking for me. But you don't want to slay me. Don't get me killed. What is it then? You are a what? A scholar, really. I thought you scholars were supposed to be smart. Why are you entering a Lamia's nest? You're studying Lamia's. Hmm, that's interesting. So how many Lamia's have you found yet? Just me? You are not doing a great job then. But well, it is to be expected. If you have found another, you probably would have not make it out alive. <laughs> so why are you interested in studying my kind? You're writing an encyclopedia. Wow, you're more interesting than what I first thought. Maybe I should keep you alive after all. Huh, <laughs> yes. If you were boring, I would probably end up having to find another way to entertain myself with you. And you might not survive that. Oh, calm down, little one. I'm just teasing you. Or am I? <laughs> <sighs> so there you are writing down your observations. Let me see. Hmm, this is... It contains a lot of data and drawings. 
about a lot of monsters and humanoid species. This is truly interesting. Oh, elves, I haven't seen one in years. And you even draw their clothing, right? Yes, the dress this girl is using is exactly what I have seen on them. I've seen you've also encountered a group of unicorns. I thought they were extinct. Oh, look at this. A purple slime. What's the difference with the normal ones? This is poisonous. Interesting. So now you want to ask me some questions. Well... Yes, I guess you showing me this is enough payment for an interview. So... S tell me... What do you want to know? Oh... My name is Leila. Well, yes, I am basically a human from my hips up, and a snake from down part. Mm-hmm. Yes, you may look. What do you think? <laughs> Does my body make you uncomfortable? The way my long scaly tail moves around you? Do you feel nervous? Or maybe amused by it. Yes, look closely. Feel it. Is it soft? Cold? Muscular? Strong? Do you feel how it coils around your leg? Around your waist? Around your arms? Your shoulders, your neck. I just need to give it a little more strength. Just a tiny little bit more of a strength and you will slowly and painfully suffocate till you die. Or at least I could do it if I wanted. Wait, what are you writing down? Oh well, yes, I have constriction capacity as you noticed, but I thought you would be a little more afraid. Well, what else do you want to know? What do I normally eat? <laughs> what a question. Any kind of prey is good for me, but something big. And warm like you is way better to satisfy my appetite. Oh no, nothing that isn't meat except for eggs sometimes. I have tried some human food, but I don't know. It's not like I get sick or anything. But it is tasteless. Oh no, the hissing is not something I do on purpose. It just slips sometimes. Oh well, my arms are just as strong as human arms. But my claws are pretty sharp, aren't they? Let me run them through your skin. Do you feel how sharp and strong they are? If I apply a little more pressure, I could cut your neck. <laughs> Thank you. You think they're cute? <laughs> yes, about that. I am not totally cold-blooded, nor totally like humans or elves. My body gets cold at night. And I get a little weaker. But don't get any ideas. Even if I get weakened, I could still have enough energy to get rid of some puny human like you. Well, that question, well, 
No, there are no male lamias. Yes, my father was a human. But lamias just use humans for reproductive purposes. They are like domestic animals to us. So weak, vulnerable, easy to control, easy to play with, easy to break into our submissive and obedient little pets. Did you say yes? Do you have no sense of dignity? Oh, you meant you understand that some people can get tricked. Yes, because humans are so weak mentally and physically. Did you just say because Lamias are beautiful? Well, thank you, I guess. If all Lamias are as gorgeous as me, <laughs> Oh, I consider myself average for my kind. My mother, sisters, and aunts were the only Lamias I have ever met. Yes, we raise our offspring until they're like 12 or 15. We do live longer than humans. How old do you think I look? Yes, I do look like I'm in my early 20s. I am 45 years old. My mother died at age 152. She looked like she was in her early 50s for human terms. Yeah, we don't age. We also don't deteriorate like you do. Oh well, no, I don't have poison. Well, not lethal poison. I can make you feel sick. But no, it will not kill you. Okay, so that's all. Hmm, you want to draw me? Would you like me to get even closer? No. You want me to sit over there so you can see all my tail? Okay, how do I look? You're not so shy at all, are you? But it is nice to receive so many compliments. You're done? Let me see. <laughs> beautiful. It really is a beautiful drawing. My eyes. You capture them very good. You are, for a human, a very talented person. A very remarkable find. Wait, are you leaving now? Well, not so fast. Remember I told you, ask me all your questions in exchange for showing me that little book you're making. But you also ask me to model for you. How are you planning to pay me for having me work as your model? Well, what about you please me instead for the rest of the night, little human?